from NBC News. This is Today with Kathy Lee Gifford and Hoda Kotb. All right, coming That's up next, away, how to stain proof your stainless steel and other quick household fixes you can do yourself right after this. Thanks, everybody. Time for today's home and a quick, quick fixes for those pesky problems around the house. Hand me the tools, whether your kitchen cabinets won't close or you can't stand looking at those empty nail holes in the wall. Alex Bandon is here with some simple solutions. Alex is online editor for This Old House. Great show. Hey. Nice to see Hi, you again. Nice to see you, ladies. Well, let's get started because I know this is something that we all have. You hang up a picture, you end up with a hole in the wall. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, you know you never get it right the first time. Let me, I'm sorry to take you girls down. Oh, but, um, you know how right. you never get it right the first time and you end up with a hole here yeah. and a hole yeah. here? Because nobody well, measures. They just use their <laughs> That's what I do. Just There's a really easy fix for that. You get yourself some lightweight patching compa compound. Light okay. patching compound. You fill the hole. You can even overfill it because this stuff is so lightweight. You take a damp sponge and it just rubs Boy. away until yeah. you have exactly the hole filled the way you want to. What? And then do you paint then you paint and it. And then you just patch it up with a little paint. Oh. Okay. All Very right. We easy. believe you, Alex. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. This is one of those things. I think it's interesting. You scuff up your chair, and you just don't know how to get yeah, rid of the scuff marks. Yeah, you can see marks. there's some really bad scratch marks over here. Yeah. That's basically you've scratched away the stain. Okay. So Minwax, which is a stain company, makes stain pens, and they're just pens filled with stains. Actually, hobbyists use these to do dollhouse furniture. Oh. Yeah. And you can just color in the stain. You can oh, so it'll it say out mahogany, here. or it'll say cherry, or it. Yeah. They all have let the me just get this one going a little see. for you. What color is that? So cool. This and one yeah, is so cherry. There's stain on there, and you just color it in a little. And Hoda it's gone. is so crafty. Oh my God! That's, that's what I'm great. Doing. Those are awesome. And that that is great because it's only five dollars, and they come in nine yeah. different and colors. And imagine if you send it off to a, a, a wood a craftsman. To I know fix you'd it. have yeah. to refinish the whole oh, thing. The whole that's thing. really thousands good. of dollars. Um, what do we have? What this do we have? one is. Well, you know, this you is know when your cabinets don't close all the way, yes. and you're just like, oh, I can't believe yes. it. Well, this is a really easy fix. You get a heavy duty magnet catch, and you just attach it to the cabinet, like this one, and it just it just catches it. It has to. And that's it. It's done. <laughs> it has to. And what about... Alex is a genius. genius. That's not a hard thing. Okay, you. so stains in the sink. Yeah, oh. stains in your sink. Now, no, you don't, don't need to work. buy stainless steel cleaner. You've probably already got WD-40 in your house. WD-40? I brush my teeth with that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Just you kidding. use it to, to clean it's rust. It's for everything. Yeah, it's great. And it also cleans stainless steel. So you can oh, just try that. that on a little bit of this. You can just uh, do this and clean up those stains completely. Just make sure you wipe it all off when you're done. But it's already in your closet. Okay, that's good. Good. That's good. You're batting a right? thousand dollars. Right. Okay, these are stains this that one, kids leave behind. Yeah, you know we all like to display our kids' artwork, mm -hmm. just not on the furniture and the yeah. walls. Okay? okay, so you can, you know, you, they use those pens that are supposed to be able to be cleaned off, but they don't always come off. Yeah. Toothpaste. <gasps> do it. What do you do? You just put Squeeze a little right bit of there? toothpaste on there, just like it cleans Comes your right teeth. Off. It cleans up stains. Now, can you put a little what? baking powder on that as well? Or you Look don't at even that. Need it? Look what just happened. Yep. Gone. Hold is amazed. <laughs> no, I, I mean, I don't clean, and so you, this again, is shocking. Again, you already have it in your, ca in your cabinet. <laughs> Look at all this cleaning happening. <laughs> and great. This is this is the one that I like the most because you know how unappetizing it is to get to your butcher block and it smells like garlic and onions like last night's dinner. It smells like dinner. last night's dinner, right? Yeah. yeah. And so there's a really easy way to clean that. You just use sea salt and a lemon. So you're basically scrubbing the smells out with lemon as the, the odor. Lemon is a, the world's greatest natural disaster. Yeah. Yeah. And this is the abrasive. So you just Oops. take the cut oh, under the lemon no. and you use it. I like it. I do too. Now, should you be using a wooden butcher block anyway? Shouldn't you use a plastic one? No, actually, wood ones are better because they don't transfer any bacteria out of the wood back into your knife. Oh. The plastic ones do. So see? wood is, is You're doing actually more sanitary. everything wrong at that new apartment of yours, Hoda Woman. And you can see these are not are, everything. These are bamboo, oh. which is a which is a sustainable <laughs> material, so that's even better. <laughs> so what's next? Oh, oh, that's that's it. it. That's the whole well, show, Alex. Did. She's got it. All right, thank you. You were smashing. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Up next, something. You cannot fix with tools. We're talking about your love life. Mm, if you didn't get that ring for Valentine's Day, we're going to find out what you need to seal the deal. Diana Kirchner I say has it's it. too late. But Diana <laughs> says no, there's hope. I say it's too late. But don't worry.